Okay, in this video, we're going to quickly show you how to create a report and add row level comments using the Apex Commons theme component on top of it. Uh, to start with, I've kind of got a template table here. Uh, we're going to go into our SQL workshop and paste in this table. This table kind of has all the fields that you would need uh, for the comments theme uh, component. Um, we'll use most of these today. Uh, and I do have other videos out there that, that walk through this in a little bit more detail if you like. Um, for our data today, we're going to create a team stats table. Um, this table will hold uh, various baseball stats that we will be commenting on the player's uh, performance on. There we go. Uh, we're going to need um, to add a constraint uh, on this particular table. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Now, um, Next, uh, we're going to add some logic here. I've got another video where I show how to kind of do this on button press, but we're going to do this now. Uh, we're going to do the logic to essentially collect the Apex user submitting the comment, uh, as well as the timestamp of, of when, when the comment was made. So, uh, and we will do this kind of on insert or update uh, of the comments table we just created. So let's go ahead and build that. This will make our application a little bit easier to code down the road. All right, with this in place, we're going to go back up to our object browser and just load a little bit of sample data to our team stats table. All right, so we'll go to our data tab and we're going to go over to load data. Uh, now I do have sample data here, so if you open this link in a new tab, if you've never done this in GitHub, you can actually go over here and do uh, download the raw file. Back to the object browser. And load our data. All right, now our data is loaded. We can go back to our app builder. And now we're just going to create a new page. This page will actually hold our, uh, our form. that we're going to use um, for our comments page. So we'll just call it comments. I'm going to make it a modal dialog, and we're going to build it off the comments table we just created. Keep the primary key and just say create page. Now to keep things simple today, uh, we're actually going to go over here, select everything uh, except for the comment text uh, for our comments. And we're going to mark this as hidden. And we'll do this just to keep our form simple for the day. Now we're going to go over and create a new region. Uh, we're going to call it comments. And we're going to set it to our comments theme component. Uh, we're going to set this to our comments table. We're going to put a where clause in. And this is essentially going to limit the comment uh, to the player that we submit on modal form. So if we pick player number four, uh, we'll only show the comments for player number four. We're going to go over to our attributes tab. We're going to select the comment text, the commenter, which is the username, and we'll select the date. Go ahead and hit save. All right, now we're going to come over here and we're going to go to actions and create a new action. As an action, we're going to set it to a link and we're going to call it edit. So this will essentially be our edit button. Now we're going to set our link target. So when the edit button is pressed, we want it to return to our comments page where we can leverage the form. We're going to use the player ID. And we're going to map it to C underscore ID. And last but not least, we want to make sure we clear the cache on page five so that our update will show. So hit OK. Now we're going to go over here and just set a server side condition. Um, this condition will essentially make sure that only the username that entered the comment can edit the comment. So we'll go ahead and select our commenter. 
And we're going to type in this to be our uh, app user dynamically. Hit save. Okay, and now we're kind of ready to go to uh, our reports page. So let's go up to the top here. Right now this is a blank page, so we're going to go ahead and create a classic report in our, in our body section. And we're going to pull from the team stats table. Go ahead and hit save. Now there's one column. We're going to turn off the video column over here. We're going to hide it. Okay, now we're going to come back over here. We're going to create a new virtual column. We're going to set it to be a link. Uh, we're going to call it comments. We're going to have the link root to page five. This is our modal form. And when we root to page five, we're going to pass in the player ID. And we're going to map the player ID to the jersey number from the report. To keep things pretty, we're going to use um, one of the icons from the Apex icon library. This is like a common icon for our link text. Go ahead and hit save. And now we're ready to test our application. So if we go over here, we can click into comments. You can see we're actually logged in as user F Baber. We can say, great player, create the comment. If we go back in, we can see our comment in the date stamp. It knows who submitted it. Can edit this comment at any point in time. All right, we can see that the edit took place. All right, and now we want to go back over here. Let's log in as a different user. in the C-Baber. When we see it go in, we can see f Baber's comment, but we can't edit. We can add a comment from a different user. And we can see that that comment is there, uh, along with the timestamp and the edit button. It's really quick. That's how you can add comments um, to an existing report at a row level um, to uh, you know, kind of enhance your existing reports.